Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're finally gonna watch the finale. I don't think this is the finale, but the as of now, last video of Maxor's An Incorrect Summary of Elder Ring. This one is called Blood and Fire. I am super excited. This series has been really fun to react to. This series has been really fun to watch. So I'm excited what this one is all about. I People have told me in my comments that this is the best one yet. So I'm curious to see how Max was going to top the other the other two I've watched so far. I'm expecting big things. I'm really excited. A little bit of context. I'm a new FromSoft player. I'm currently playing through all FromSoft games for the very first time over on my Twitch. I'm currently playing through Dark Souls 3 Master. I've recently finished Elder Ring and Sekiro for the very first time. We're now moving on to Dark Souls and then maybe at some point in the future Bloodborne. So if you're interested in seeing all my live first reactions to the FromSoft games, feel free to follow me over on Twitch and hang out with us and without further ado let's hop into the video so this is the video uh it's currently on 1.5 million views it was uploaded a month ago so this one is fairly new i'm very excited if this one's going to be different to the other ones because people have been praising it a lot but yeah let's give it a watch I give up. These places and many more in the lands between were once ruled by the great Queen America. Before Play. the world's messiest divorce, now America's treasure, source of all her power, languishes in the hands of the demigods, waiting to be claimed only by the strongest of champions. Oh? Uh, but that's kind of hard. This promise oh. drove countless Tarnish to the Erd Tree in pursuit of horrors more terrifying than they could dare to imagine. These journeys are the pursuit. Wait, is it just me or is he Loki talking kind of slowly? <laughs> Compared to his other videos, I feel like this one feels a lot more slow so far like i've understood every single word so far questionable suit of that treasure the great elden ring Woo. oh the music oh my goodness oh there's a fly in my room he's really slaying with the music in his videos i'm not gonna lie the music is always a sleigh. Ooh, that shot. Look at that. Look at that. Blood and fire. Yes, this is George R. Armani reference. A oh, true. No, true. Because, wait. A song of ice and fire. Is that the what uh, Game of Thrones is called? The book series, right? Oh, that's clever. I like it. I like it. Our heroes emerged to find a world in ruins and a throne unclaimed. Alone, they braved Godric the Graphic's funny bouncy castle to perform some prosthetic Fuck surgery. Yeah. Enrolled in Raya University with a major in family medicine, challenged the great hero Radon in a pitched battle to vaporize the eastern seaboard. Nothing of value was lost that day. Descended into Friedrich Fazbear's <laughs> mega pizza plex and introduced him to the bullet of 45. And finally, entered the golden capital of Lanedale to claim the Elden Throne. I fucking hate Ikea. But that's oh, all in shit. the past now, and uh, you don't have to view it. My audio sounded like it was in a bathroom sink. So all you need to know is, uh, the skid row is fucked up. Here is the plan. Yeah. To enter the Earth Tree, we're going to need more firepower than American Recess. And that is where the mountain of death and destruction and fuck comes in. Compared to California, I would say this is an improvement. To reach these high peaks and mountainous Slay. menageries, our heroes must- Where does he get all these dancing clips from? Did he make them himself? Is that an actual emote? I've never seen that. It's kind of funny. I want it. Why do I not have that? Escape California and brave the forbidden lands, which is a task easier said than done. Hey guys, Maxor here. Welcome to welcome to the Luma Key Dimension. I can overlay anything out of the screen. The fuckers oh my goodness! Inside Patrick Sturkey. So we head into the cleverly disguised hallway. Oh, I hated and the that area. The problem we encounter is that the enemies are. Uh, uh, our two small fucking kids. As yeah. an empath, I can sense that it uh, that it's cold. You know what? <laughs> I think it's time that we are. Uh, uh, we are. Uh, oh. This is the no, 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 boss. Uh, Look know, at that epic montage. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely not foreshadowing anything. I just want to dance to this. So what's going on? The vibes. Welcome to the Funny Mountain, where the difficulty not the funny is mountain. the elevation. Like, geologically, how does this happen? You know, you can tell it's going to be a great area when the first NPC you meet is absolutely off his perks. Wow, dude, you're, you're just like Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm, I'm fantastic at writing jokes. So we're here in the, the, the... Oh my god, this mountain is so beautiful. It makes me want to dive into it and stay there forever. One oh, that 
little Breath of the Wild music just gave me literal feels. Oh my god, that just gave me flashbacks from when you first entered the Great Plateau. Ah, mm, I like that. Once upon a time, these mountains were an ancient battleground where giants dwelled among men. Now Slay, it's a modern battleground where ketamine dwells inside my blood. You know, this place looks really nice, but uh, what did Mr. Krabs do to jellyfish feels? This is oh, not no. how I imagine dragons radioactive. Well, I'm bored of this place. It's just missing that little bit of variety to the gameplay. You know, with its three dungeons. Nope. But because FromSoft packaged their game with the ability to, uh, to do this. He's so beautiful. We're going to be using this amazing mechanic to talk to Ow. you about energy drinks. That's right. GamerSups made the mistake of sponsoring me. And they said, yes, you can make Elden Ring builds based on our flavors. This is a decision <laughs> I will make them regret. Right. Oh my god, you gotta respect that, that commitment to the fucking sponsorship. I love that. That's, I like when people make creative content around sponsorships. You gotta respect that. First on our list is a uh, blowhole blast. She looks very <laughs> sad today. I can think of a pretty appropriate weapon for this build, honestly. Emotional damage. Damage Emotional with damage. how he fucking looks. Titty milk. Why would you do this? Lots of strength <laughs> on this guy. He, he was stung by a bee. Guacamole oh no. Gamer Fart 9000. Got a, got a big schnauzer on this one. Gonna be doing an arcane poison build. It really accentuates the flavor. My favorite one is definitely a code max or with a zero for free shipping on Gamer Sup samples. He gets to try energy drinks for free using the link in the description. <laughs> or he could use the code for 10% off Gamer Sup's purchases if he is watching the video later. My man's got a lot of stamina. Piss man. This is... Okay, wait, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna keep and playing because all that water soluble vitamin B12 that has to go somewhere My sink is so goddamn energized right now. Fuck That's I like that that was creative and I liked it and I have questions about it, especially titty milk Uh, don't understand that but I respect it and keep it going. Okay, if that's what you that's what you decided to do I respect it. There was something else I want to uh, that reminded me of but now I forgot I forgot. Also, the amount of work that went into like making these different bills and stuff. Gotta respect it. That's a big skeleton. I'm sure it's not indicative of any other video games. We we have oh, the fucking calcium carnival. This part of the game is very humorous. That one was the that boss was the first one that I seriously struggled with. I don't know why. He took me. He took me like three streams and he was the only ever enemy that I got a new weapon for. I left and used like a, um, a holy weapon on him because I could not beat him for the life of me. I was also unleveled, but still. Uh, you know what? Uh, fuck this boss. I, gotta, I yep. got a cool plan for this guy. It's time mm -hmm. to put those wings to the goddamn test. <laughs> I, I genuinely didn't know if that was possible. What just happened? Hold on. What do you do? Uh, fuck this boss. I got a I got a cool plan for this guy. It's time to put those wings to the goddamn test. <laughs> I, I I don't understand what he did. Hold on. What? What did he do? Wait, can I slow it down? It's time to put those wings to the goddamn test. I have no idea what he did here. No fucking clue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I genuinely didn't know if that was possible. Bailiff, whack his balls. On the far side of the mountain, there's this uh, funny castle. I think, I think me they are cute. These turtle thingies are cute. You put these here to torture me. This is the part of the game that gets offended when you take damage. And there is a yep. lot of damage to be taken. My favorite yep. is the uh, 13th annual ghost convention. <laughs> very, uh, very packed venue we've got today. Zoinks, Scoob, I'm taking you to the shelter to get euthanized. Oh, you thought you could escape. Here we find one of the most bosses ever made. You know, if I can ever uh, start <laughs> fighting him. Hey there, guys, I'm, I'm back at the <clears> boss run. Oh, so we kill all of his imaginary friends and he uh, doesn't take to that very kindly. He is a bit hey of an guys, anime the, girl, isn't he? Game. I thought I thought this <clears> was going <throat> to be a normal boss. With the frizz, no way. This man is known for uh, having more damage than God. True. Hey there, guys, it, it's me again. 
I beat him fairly quickly though. <clears throat> I beat him fairly quickly because I had a weapon that did a lot of damage to his add-ons. And I feel like once you beat the add-ons, the Nile was actually quite... He was fine. He was not too difficult. Though I've got to give him credit for showing off great disability representation. From me, my game is disabled from beating this fucking boss. Man's using his for a hit and run. <laughs> oh my god. He really said gaming montages and he Fuck. delivered. Why did I do this to myself? Hey. Oh, what an epic shot. I like it. Slay. Big slay. Designated law checkpoint. Oh, beautiful. Hey there, buddy. Want to hear the lore about this church? Uh, no, no, thank you. It all started with an ancient war uh... between... What did they do to Melina, my little lady? I, they're doing 20 damage to each other. That is why I'm tarnished. <laughs> you must ascend up the mountain and face the fire giant. I'm not a ginger. Wait a second. I wasn't listening to the exposition. Oh, shit. No ginger joke? I'm surprised. So this is John Cena. I call him that because you can't fucking see him. I think they might have made him uh, a little too big. We're gonna we're gonna have to fight him on his own turf. Oh hell yeah, dude! Let's go fight. Let's go fight the fire giant. This boss mostly attacks what with is his going on? um garbage lid, you know, so he can take the fucking trash out. And that is a problem because well, he's not holding it with his fucking feet. So to beat this boss, I'm going to have to use my secret ability called post cognition, which allows me to interpret events that have already happened. Hmm, it appears that I should have dodged that. Fortunately, this <laughs> boss has a weakness. It's called playing a mage build. Sh Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. But for the rest of us, we have to attack his really detailed feet. This is what Miyazaki Fuck yeah. you, you can't laugh at. It. <laughs> Ow! Ew. Ew! Hey, you that cutscene. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know to do that. Fine, man. <laughs> you want my legs so much, you can fucking have it. Um, th that's not really what I meant. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god, this is sick. I like it. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I think I broke him. Oh boy. Hey. First of all, I beat the fire giant quite fast. I didn't even struggle too much with it, but I feel like thought so far in the video, he takes a lot of more time. Like it's not as, it doesn't, it doesn't include like as many quick jokes, but he takes more time with the ones he makes. But like they, they're spot on instead. Like this is, it is quite different. It's a lot less, like, hectic, but uh, it's still really funny. I feel like I'm watching a movie. <laughs> <You know. laughs> oh, no. Welcome, Tarnished, to the fire which will burn the Erd tree. Great, so I, I can go in now, right? No, of course not. <laughs> what? Far beyond these mountains, in the ruins of ancient Oklahoma, there is a weapon oh, no, capable not of Oklahoma. killing even the gods themselves. And for your journey to come to a close, you must brave these treacherous palisades. For within lies the shadow of Queen Marika, and the rune of destined death. Wait, why is it called that? Why do you think? Many reasons, actually. Okay, that's <laughs> enough for the rest of my life. Take my hand so I can melt myself. Oh. Fucking moron. <laughs> no, not again. For this so was already traumatic the first time. Waited for this chance to one day commit arson. <laughs> no, not Melina. You can't. Tarnished. Oh. I have been with you every step of your journey, and it made me want to vaporize myself. <laughs> in Minecraft. Oh. <laughs> this is goodbye, tarnished. <laughs> I hope this world crushes your skull like a grape. Nice. Very kind. I like it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I'm crying. Hey guys, Max are here. Today we're going to be visiting the uh Holy shit. It's so beautiful. I'm oh. genius. I think this is a this is a hazard. Midwest Fur Fest is nah. tough. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Wow, this shit is, this shit is really neat. Just gotta walk through the, uh, the obvious boss arena. Oh my god, the music slaps! Uh. Who put this here? Why do they hate me? When does the camera stop twerking? I'm just, I don't even I'm think that's a boss. Later. I'm just not thinking about how it covers the walls in spaghetti. Uh, excuse me, I just <laughs> forgot my souls. Welcome to the Australian afternoon, where the difficulty spikes harder than the elevation. Look, guys, even, even the magpies are here. They are just a blast to fight, honestly. Oh, I hated those. Oh, he's Amazing. back. They are really want my french fries. <laughs> Dog, this shit look like a war zone. Why are there so many of them? <laughs> Miyazaki, please. So after a quick detour at the Furry Pride Cemetery, we make our way into the Yeah, church. I struggled here. No, the one. Do you get the feeling that this game is just getting too good? Have you ever thought, um, what's the worst thing I could fight? Well, my friend, think no uh. longer. Gods can duo. Oh, the pain. The pain. Oh, is this is hey PTSD. It's, it's the Foreskin Brothers coming at you with another wacky vlogging video. This boss <laughs> is a real krill issue, a, a real skull issue. Uh, from the developers, I consider this boss a personal slight and attempt to kill me via aneurysm. You know what? I yep. think that two godskins actually isn't hard enough. We can do better. Uh, wh what? What the fuck? What if I installed a mod that doubles the godskin duo? Why would you do that? This isn't the worst idea I've ever had in my life. That, that shit would be fucking crazy, honestly. Really wacky stuff from my imagination. I genuinely regret this. And even when you manage to kill one, which, uh, good luck, you're gonna realize that you aren't fighting a godskin duo. You're fighting a godskin three and a half. Or in my case, I was so uh, upset when I beat one. 14, because God is dead and we skinned him. <laughs> oh, did he beat him though? That's what I need to know. Did he beat the double god skin duo? That's why I was so no. Tell you what, I was so upset when I beat one of them. I was so proud. I did it. She was like, "Guys, now I can beat the fight." And then he came back, and I was like, "You fucking joking!" I was. It was so upsetting. I want to know if he beat the double god skin duo though. Pull off your skin. There's a demon under there. Oh, true. Facts. Exiting the best boss in the entire game, we enter the rest of Fair Missoula. The rest of... <laughs> the rest of Fair Missoula, a cracked and crumbling landscape, once home to a thriving race of dragons. Unfortunately, though, it is still occupied by a thriving race of dragons. You yep. know, because they're just so easy to miss. I'm waking up to slap my nuts. <laughs> awesome, guys. We got, we got lightning fortification. I like it so much, I'm going to keep it on my screen. <laughs> Classic. Why does God forsake back. his creation? Hey there, guys. It, it, it's me again. I'm back for the bird things. Wow, this is so much fucking fun. I'm happy. Fair Missoula is a land of many mysteries. Mysteries such as why? God? But to access <laughs> the greatest mystery of them all, we're going to need to do some... Ah, oh, this fight. Making our way down the fun gameplay. Ah, uh, this is a, a good fight. Ground, which we're supposed to nap in. Yeah, take a nap. Go for it. This prompts us to have no a crazy fucking dream. What the fuck? A dream of what could have been if I didn't smoke crack. Then the storm expands to consume my earthly flesh. Like in Fortnite. Classic Fortnite meme. Shit, I was hoping that would kill me. Nope. Ah, this fight is so good. Oh, I want to go back. How's the weather? Imagine more dragons. <laughs> oh my god, this video is so lit. Welcome, what the fuck? The most diabetic boss in the game. He's uh, not really big in the whole movement thing. So instead of killing you directly, Dragonlord Parthenax screams at God to kill you instead. What a coincidence. Yep. I also scream at God to kill me. This is like <laughs> half of his next. And if you're wondering what the other half is, it's uh. It's piss. It, it's just piss. Come on, man. I don't even look like a sink. This boss hit me so hard that uh, sink. he knocked all the bones out of my body. Don't don't worry. I managed to take care of his bones as well. It, affect, it affects his ability to fire straight. This is the best shit I've ever done for a video. Uh, I don't know if you can dodge this one. Oh. Oh my. How did he get those shots? Where it's like moved... The way he moves, it's like a drone shot. How did he get those? That's I want to know that. Fucking god, that was so cool. Le legalized nuclear bombs. <laughs> Following a nine-second engagement in my skin relocation, the boss you can't decides say that, that. Actually, no. Just, just no. Wh what? I call this move the uh, 
the reaction base. Thank you, Star Scourge Don. It's really enjoyable when the boss fucking fights me from a different dimension. Yep. Uh, I I don't think Placidius Axe is, is supposed to be doing this. He's he's <laughs> loading right now. <laughs> he can even use a laser to teleport me. Uh, straight into the grave. His aim is really, uh, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> his aim is really fucked up without his butt buttons. <laughs> Wait a fucking second. We respawn back at the bird section when we die. That's great. That's awesome. T 10 out of good. Yeah. Oh, this Where is so good. Is Oh, this is so good. I was getting serious. All right, boys. Last OSHA violation. All we got to do is walk up to. The there is no mercy in this world. This is oh, I didn't beat that one. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this one for later. Yeah, that's how you do it. He shot me through the fucking wall? Hey guys, welcome to the secret <laughs> duel yep. battle. It's uh, really fun when he gets to play the game. Almost as fun as uh, stoning people to death. And he's got about uh, 15 ways to do it. Number 13, the Palestinian high five. This boss I do not consider very fast. <laughs> I consider him bullshit, and a big part of I that bullshit too. is the sheer fucking speed at which this man gives London handshakes. Bro, they made- London handshakes! The shanking returns! It's a, the shanking, the British shanking is a returning joke on the Back of Chute channel. We found it, we're there, the Bloodborne, it's, it all makes sense now. Born like four consoles ago. You, get, you gotta move on, buddy. Gaming is- Is that what Bloodborne used to look like? No, this is not real. 2015 was fucked up. We've got a lot of fun with this guy, like rocks and uh hey there broski, how's the weather today? Why are the response here like that? So after a long game of fetch with a normal sized pit bull who clearly has not had enough preschoolers, here you go, buddy, I'll I'll fix Who clearly has not had enough what? Sorry? That one right up for you. All right, class, today we're going to choose the strongest. I decided to take this dog on a long walk behind the shed. He's he's going to a farm upstate. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a spider on my head. <laughs> no. If destined death is truly thy longing, then claim it. Yo, this is sick. Uh-oh. I'm going to fucking skin you alive. Ooh. Ooh. This hits different. Okay, so welcome to the evil shelter. I call it that because the dog euthanizes you. Malakope and Seath, the whack ape of meth, is quite the, quite the, definitely the fight. He is yep. so fast, so aggressive, and so airborne that it makes me wonder, uh, when do I get to play the game that I bought? You are <laughs> literally fighting death right now. So if he kills you, you have to start a new character. Look, I, I don't make the rules. Can you here, imagine? Okay? I feel like most of this is just trying to hit him ever and the range on that yep. sword means that he isn't going to share that issue for lack of a better word malaketh is an absolute beast because not only do his attacks drain your health slowly and quickly but they also reduce your natural lifespan usually to a few seconds he also uh, lowers your height to negative six all right guys so I, I figured out the bone remover works in cutscenes i can't really tell if this makes the fight easier or harder he's, <laughs> he's having some mobility issue where am i going <laughs> this is not a battle of attrition the way I wouldn't even have noticed the bone removal thing. Because he just looks like he just flipped, he just fidget spinning around anyways. We are not going to be low in healing, but we are going to be low in health. Malakath might be damaging, mobile, and especially uh, aggressive. Please, please let me play the game now. But what he isn't is able to survive the base cannon. We can't outspace Malakath, and we certainly aren't going to outmaneuver him. But what we can do is outdance Malakath. I'm Aye. very good at it. And with the right combination of dodging, punishing, and staying uncomfortably close to the boss, you smell yep. pretty good, Malakath. We just might be able to take Oop. this dog down. Bart. <laughs> at least, that's the theory. In practice, it's easier said than done.
he's slaying, I can tell by all the lights happening. Hey, success. Great success. That was cool, I like that part. Movie time. It's a stinky sting boo boo fog. Ooh, I'm a I'm a big fan of ominous crucifixes. Pretty cool. Oh, that felt so epic when you did this in the game. Ah, every time I watch these, I just want to replay it. Death is unbound. And that is probably a bad thing. Mm. Now death is once more a part of this world. God dang it. Things definitely weren't dying before. I checked. Yeah, yeah, true. I gotta say, ever since I've been watching these lore videos, I feel like I could actually follow this, which is cool. Like the whole rune of death thing and everything and like how death wasn't really a thing and they all returned to the earth tree and then whatever, no real death. Is it, I like that I can follow it now and I get these jokes. I don't know, I, just a little side note there. Your destiny lies close at hand, Tarnished. Make the lands between whole again. Put them together, bitch. Restore the Elden Ring. Oh, this is was so cool when you reach this. Nope, fuck that shit, I'm out. I've got a really important errands to do right now. <laughs> Saving the world, you know, I can do it later. It's not going anywhere. Why did you, you know, run I've like that? <laughs> so busy lately. Hey there, tarnished. Oh god, take me back. So, how's your love life been? Well, oh. I have a girlfriend now. Puppets don't count. Listen, tarnished, I pity you. Oh. A lot. So I'm letting you in on an opportunity. Is it human trafficking? Yes. Deep below our feet, on the shores of the blood swamp, the blood white, there lies a kingdom for the rejected, ah, fuck the off. poor, and especially the incels. Like you. Together with the power of the great Imperium Mikola, which I kidnapped. You kidnapped a god. I have free candy. We will overthrow the order oh. of the Erd Tree and replace it with an order of pure blood. You know I set the tree on fire, right? That's not relevant right now. Consider this your formal invitation to Hustlers University. Uh, I'm gonna pass. No refunds. Wait, no. I didn't ask for that. You took my bones. Yeah, this oh, is no. uh, oh, no. pretty, pretty safe to drink. Don't you want to try the jungle juice? He really I do. wasn't kidding about the blood swap. This is pain. Morg was literally the death of okay, me. So Mesothelioma you children. I, I think I'm entitled to some financial compensation. Wait, I want to go back and read that. What did that say? Okay, so we're here with the meso Where is it? Children. There you go. Excuse Slay. We love to hear that. I hope that you experience even more suffering at the hands of people like me. America will suffer if it's crime. Exciting! I, I some financial compensation. Oh shit, that one's doing a, a somersault. Cut wheel. Bro, these things are fucking oh. creepy. They hit me back with that fluoride stare. Mogwin Palace is the evil level. I can tell it's evil because of all the red and the blood. Now, I'm yep. going to address the obvious here and say, yes, this is just like the end of Eve at Kellyan. But that isn't what makes this level terrifying. No, what makes this level terrifying is the... Ah. Hey, you! This, this truly is an undertale. Ah, I miss Undertale. What the fuck is going on over here? Is that fucking Squidward? <laughs> I think that I, I, I think I installed the wrong bot. <laughs> hey, no. fellas, how's your hammer hanging? Uh, j j oh my god. I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable right now. Uh -oh. What, what? <laughs> they, they've accepted me as their god. <laughs> Why is there a merchant down here? Greetings, traveler. You must be very tired after such a long oh, journey. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Where did, where did you even come from? Okay, bitch, let's fucking go. I, please stop it. it. It is so dark in here. That That's fucking illegal. No, I it is. That. Oh, there's a chest up there. I don't need oh. the item. I don't need oh. the item. Oh. oh, hey, that's pretty good. I can oh. see why they want to keep that. Oh, we've all been there. We have all been there. 
Oh boy, this is where the pain begins. Oh boy. Incest jokes incoming. I can sense that it's gonna happen. Uh, are you guys busy or something? <laughs> He's bleeding. He's on his period. Ah, nightmare fuel. God I hate damn it. it. I was doing something in the blood dimension, brother. <laughs> I do not have time to pound your boy pussy today. Aha, you were busy. Also, what the fuck? What's the matter, <laughs> Tarnished? Don't you support your love? I, you are siblings. And you no. are a little bitch. There we go. I'm not fucking crying about it now, am I? How do you even fuck that? <laughs> oh. There's no need to worry, Tarnished. Because you're next. A big montage coming in. Oh my god. Ugh. Here we are fighting with a... Uh... Satan, they, they didn't even yep. try to hide it. That makes up two on our list of biblical ne'er-do-wells. I go through a lot to make these jokes, okay? I don't I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. And today, <laughs> we're going to be fighting the evil boss. I can tell he's evil because of all the incest and the pedophilia. Good good hint. Don't, don't pay attention to the ominous rings and the scary music. It, it just means he likes you. As the yep. Lord of Blood, Mo utilizes a variety of sanguine schemes. But he likes his brother more. The flashbang, the blood force trauma, and the... the Shower. It's the ultimate weapon against a gamer. But most importantly, <laughs> Mung's main attack is removing the blood from your body and then throwing it back at you. Nice try, buddy. That shit's full of microplastics. By the way, this boss is weak to bleed damage because. Classic Americans, am I right? Why not? <laughs> Overall, Mung is a simple fight. In theory, which is great because I have a simple mind. Every single attack is fair and telegraphed, even if it's a little too telegraphed. And he certainly doesn't need to jump across the arena seven times in a row. You can really tell mm -hmm. I'm not mad about it. Despite being punishing, Moog is one of the best bosses in the entire game. Although I think he could use a little bit oh, more blood. Really, really haven't seen enough of that. Just a be careful. Lies. Okay, what the fuck is he doing? Me. What the fuck? Me. How do you even dodge this? You don't. You just suffer. Oh, I hate it so much. It took me like literally like 15 hours or something to beat him. And I cheated and used summons in the end. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Are we going to Melania? Is that what is that what's happening? I can't wait for his jokes on Melania, honestly. Oh, that's. Is that how? Yo, this is this is where you how you get to. Oh. I, fuck off, Squidward. This this isn't what I meant by Squid Games. Oh. Music. Oh, this is beautiful. They're cinematic. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm going to cry. So, um, how big is this game supposed to be? Oh, that was it. Oh, that was good. Are these other people in it? Ah, oh, that was good. So there is gonna be another one. I'm guessing. This is not the final one then. Oh, that was good. I like that. That was probably my favorite one yet. That was probably my favorite one yet. I feel like it was a lot more precise. Like his jokes were less like like thrown at you and more like he actually took you with him and then you had the breaks with the with the um with the music and the, the montages, which felt like, you know, your brain could rest for a second and just like vibe a little bit. I will say though, Morg is not one of the best fights in the game because he fucking sucks ass, okay? He is the freaking fire tag in the second phase where he throws his fucking pasta sauce on the ground. 
it's literally the most unbalanced, unfair thing I've ever experienced and I hated it. Okay, so I will disagree with that statement. Other than that, I had a good time. That was definitely my favorite one. I don't know, it felt, it was the right mix of like jokes and music and cool scenes. I still want to know how he gets those drone shots. Like those look really cool. And then the music in it, the music choice was spot on in this one. This man has a lot of talent, a lot of talent. So you guys should definitely check him out if you haven't already go give him a follow go give him a watch 10 out of 10 content creator you gotta respect it i'm excited to see more of his Elden Ring content in the future thank you guys for recommending him to me i had a great time watching these videos it was fantastic but yeah thank you all so much for hanging out with me today um feel free to follow me on twitch uh please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of my uh, fromsoft content yeah, I have a Twitter, I have a Discord if you want to join us for that, I feel free to do so. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye 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 guys! <laughs>